Hello, welcome to the Mark Donald Show, the cybersecurity show. The recent wave of tech layoffs is driven by several interconnected factors. You have investor pressure and profitability, right? Major tech tech companies, despite being financially healthy and profitable, are laying off workers to enhance profitability and satisfy investor demands. This trend is partly due to the pressure to maintain high stock prices, which often positively, uh, you know, influenced by, you know, cost cutting measures like layoffs. You have social contagion and copycat behavior. There is a phenomenon of social contagion where companies imitate each other's layoffs. This behavior is not necessarily based on financial necessity, but rather on a herd mentality where companies follow the lead of others to avoid appearing out of step with industry norms. You have pandemic hiring binge and market adjustments. During the pandemic, many tech companies went on a hiring spree to meet increased demand for digital services. As the market stabilizes and consumer demand weakens, companies are adjusting with, you know, their workforce, uh, you know, to pre-pandemic levels, right? You have high inflation and economic conditions. Although inflation has decreased compared to previous years, the economic environment, including higher interest rates, has led companies to reassess their financial strategies. This includes reducing workforce costs to navigate the uncertain economic landscape. You have technical uh, technological shifts in AI. Some companies are reshuffling their workforce to prioritize new technological investments such as generative AI. This shift often involves laying off employees in areas deemed less critical to future growth. You have startups and funding challenges, smaller tech, you know, startups are particularly affected by the end of an era of easy money and low interest rates leading to cash flow issues and subsequent layoffs as they struggle to secure funding uh to you know to quickly upskill and you know in order for you right Let, let's get to the chase to quickly upskill and stay competitive in the tech jo uh, job market you might want to do these things right identify in demand skills focus on mastering technologies that are currently in high demand such as cloud computing cybersecurity ai and data analysis proficiency in platforms like aws azure and Cl uh, google cloud can significantly boost your marketability there are also online courses and boot camps. Enroll in online courses and boot camps offered by platforms like Coursera, uh, Udacity, and EDX. These resources provide flexibility and access to high quality content, allowing you to learn at your own pace. There are certifications, obtain relevant certifications to validate your skills and demonstrate your commitment to continuous learning. Certifications in areas like AWS, Certified Solutions Architect, CISSP, and Google Professional Data Engineer are highly valued. Uh, practical experience, that's another one, right? Engage in hands-on exercises, hackathons, and coding challenges to reinforce your learning and showcase your technical skills. Participating in open source projects can also enhance your experience and reputation in the tech community. It's not only uh, what you know, but applied knowledge of you know experience and who you know as well there's networking and collaboration build a strong professional network by attending industry events conferences and online communities collaborate on projects with other professionals to gain insights and expand your connections you can then you know this is very important Technical skills is good, but develop your soft skills, enhance your communication, teamwork and problem solving skills as they are crucial for collaboration and leadership in tech roles, right? You're going to be talking with clients and st stuff of that nature. So boost up those soft skills, soft skills, right? S stay updated, regularly consume tech podcasts, blogs and newsletters to keep abreast of the latest trends and developments. Engaging with industry content can help you remain informed and competitive. So. During tech layoffs, employees can take several steps to manage the situation effectively and prepare for future opportunities. You can manage your mental health and emotions. It's important to acknowledge and process the emotions that come with being laid off, such as stress, anxiety, and depression. Taking time to rest and grieve can help in managing these feelings and preparing for the next steps. Negotiate severance packages. Employees should consider negotiating their severance packages. This might include negotiating for extended health assurance, using the former employer as a reference or other benefits that can provide support during the transition period. If you like this video, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you in the next video.